Yes. Good morning, Hi, Dr. Elliot. Welcome How to BC you? Diabetes. Thank you. Over 32,000 British Columbians are diagnosed with diabetes every year. Now access to potentially life-saving drugs has become one step easier. I know in my office this morning when I... Okay. I messaged everybody, there was, you, you know, whooping and hollering and high fives. Effective immediately, the drug sold under the brand name Ozempic will become more available to type 2 diabetes patients. Semaglutide slash Ozempic is a fantastic drug. The advertisements you see on American TV are, are real. These, the drug is particularly effective for weight loss and weight loss is a critical part of management of type 2 diabetes. Last fall, CBC reported about increasing frustration with the BC Pharmacare process to access Ozempic. At that time, the program only granted special authority access after two cheaper drugs had been tried and failed to help the patient. One was considered particularly dangerous by doctors, causing blood sugar levels to dip so low patients could pass out, have a seizure or even die. It is no longer a requirement along the path to Ozempic. That said, the Ozempic Pharmacare change still falls short of regular benefit coverage. We still are recommended to try metformin for at least three months. So that's, I think, still, you know, Pharmacare's way of strongly suggesting that we follow protocols that still limit accessibility. Doctors say the next obstacle to tackle is the cost of diabetes drugs and how the deductible is calculated. The problem right now, it's just accessibility because of cost and coverage. So let's not forget that cost and coverage are limiting access to these medications, not supply. It's estimated 400,000 British Columbians have type 2 diabetes. Those who didn't qualify for a Zempic under the previous Pharmacare criteria are advised to reapply immediately. Belle Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.